Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Fresh and welcome back to another player review. Now today I actually tried to do something a bit different now. I haven't reviewed any silver players from this year's FIFA or even last year's FIFA at all. And for some reason I really want to review Thorgan Hazard. Maybe it's because it's uh, he's Eden Hazard's little brother and Eden Hazard is one of my favorite players uh, in real life right now. So I don't know. I, I saw the face card stats and I thought, they, you know, at first I was like, and they're okay and everything. So I decided to go ahead and do it because uh, I never actually played with him and I wanted to see if he was any good at all. And boy, I was surprised. So um, let's move on to the shooting now. First off, this guy's shooting. It says 75 on the card, but my god, it feels so much better than that. In the end game stats, this guy has, I believe, 85 shot power and 86 long shots which is absolutely outstanding honestly it is really good his long shots are phenomenal i really did love shooting outside the box with him you'll see in a couple of clips here where i score some a uh, nice bit of long shots nothing from too far outside the box but a good distance outside the box this guy did manage to score that for me so that's one thing that i definitely did like about him this guy's long shots were really good and he says he has 69 finishing and in game and people i'm here to tell you that that is an absolute lie 69 shooting excuse me 69 finishing does not do him any justice when this guy is in the box he can make goals for you like that uh, i know i did like a half ksi or whatever i don't know but for 69 finishing you wouldn't really expect someone to score a finesse shot like that so i definitely did enjoy that about him his finishing definitely felt a lot higher probably like in the mid 80s like his long shot and the shot power this guy even has some pretty good free kicks as well. It's 86 free kick accuracy, I believe, which is very good. I did get one opportunity to take a free kick, but sadly, I messed up because I aimed it at the wall. I didn't put enough power on it, so ultimately, it was my fault. But nevertheless, you could probably rely on this guy to score you some free kicks as well. Now, one thing I also did like about him as well is his passing. 80 passing on the um, on the card kind of doesn't do him justice. It feels like it's more in the mid-80s as well. This guy has some really good passing. In fact, he should have way more than three assists. Now, I, I included a lot of clips in here where I did get some good passes with him. But sadly, it's just I did not know how to finish tonight. It's maybe because I'm tired and uh, I should probably just hop off of FIFA. And, I mean, you saw the misses right here. But, nevertheless, you saw the passes as well. So, you see that this guy is able to deliver some very good passes and if you are able to finish um this guy will actually be able to provide you with some really good assists so that's one thing that you definitely can't count on him for also has some pretty decent pace as well 77 pace on a, uh, a midfielder definitely isn't that bad at all even if he had 50 pace i wouldn't mind it at all so 77 pace is uh pretty good so you can do a little bit of uh solo runs with him and if you're a pass the last defender then you're pretty much set. You're pretty much set on goal. So that's one thing I definitely did like. Also, he has 80 dribbling, which is, uh, that feels about right. You know, his dribbling was pretty decent, but definitely not the best. I mean, it's pretty good for Silver, but you weren't expecting anything like uh, a Messi or a Ronaldo or Ibra or anything like that. So his dribbling was overall pretty solid for a Silver. Now, the cons behind this guy is really he has three star skill moves and weak foot. Uh, he can't win any headers. I mean, his headers are pretty bad. He has he's five nine with uh, fifty six headings. So I mean, you wouldn't expect him to win any headers as well. And he is also weak, so he pretty much gets bullied off the ball if you do uh, if a defender does touch him. But nevertheless, guys, I really did enjoy him. I'm gonna give him a nine out of ten because he was a really solid card for me, and I did enjoy using him. And if you guys really want to buy him, I would probably wait until his price drops a little bit. He's going for about two hundred k right now. Maybe wait till it drops down to hundred k. But uh, nevertheless, guys, uh, this is fresh. I hope you guys enjoyed the play review. Let me know anything that I could do to make these play reviews more better and entertaining for you guys. And as always, thanks for watching. I am out. Peace.